Hello everyone, this is Charles Bridgetech with another flashlight review, this time from Magic Shine. This is their MTL 60. Now this is considered their hunting flashlight, so it's more of a dedicated thrower, compact that is. It does have a little bit bigger on the head there, kind of showing you a little shadow there on the box of what this light looks like. Of course you have 800 meters of throw and a thousand lumens. I'm going to turn it over, show you the back of the box, showing you the features, not too much as far as the specs are concerned. So let's wait no further. Let's open this up, see what's in. Wow, that's pretty nice looking. Definitely going to take the light out there, the information and accessories are down below here in the box. Take this out. Put this over on the side. And now we're going to go ahead and open this here. It does have a little holster here. We'll go over that a little bit more. O-ring came out there. Get one extra one. And we've got a lanyard. Now I talked to the company rep and the size is very nice. A little bit bigger than some of the other ones I've seen where you can literally only put four fingers in. Clearly put your hand in there, especially if you have larger hands. Feels pretty good. It's got their name logo on there as well. I'll get the user manual out of here. That's everything in there. Now we're going to take this user manual, open it up, and show you the specs if I can. On the previous lights, okay, so just kind of look. The other side is in multi languages, but we're going to concentrate here on this area here, showing you that thousand lumens on turbo it does have SOS. So now, if you need more time to read this area, pause the screen. Otherwise, we're going to move on. Now we're going to go back to the holster. It's an open-end design here, so the barrel will stick through it. Nice padding in here. And it is pretty thick, so it's got a lot of protection there. Magic Shine labels on the side. Velcro is strong. Got a D-ring on here. Yeah, this feels pretty good. And it's even padded on the side too there. Show you what the light looks like inside. And that's the way it looks. Still got some good protection on both sides of the light as you can see. There and there. So that feels pretty good. So it's nice to know that there is some the only thing that's not protected, of course, here at the tail end of your light, it may rub up against stuff, so you want to protect that if you're carrying that on your hip. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and move on to the light. There it is. And that looks sharp. tail clicky on there. Now remember they're just stepping into the world of flashlights and headlamps so there's the power switch there. Looks just like their headlamps. There's the magic shine labeling there. Clip here on the back is a two-way clip so that's nice so you can either way carry it the way you want. I don't know it feels kinda heavy to put on a baseball cap but I guess if you maybe have a hard hat or something with a strap on it and you want to do something with that <laughs> uh, you might be able to figure out something to be able to carry this but uh, definitely uh, it's got some weight here on the front. This doesn't have a battery in it so I'll be showing a battery that I'm going to use in this test. Style and design on this is very nice. 
feels good in the hand. Feels really good. Machining and finish on this is excellent. I'm, I'm not seeing any issues. This is really nice quality in this as well. Doesn't have any kind of knurling on here, so if you're worried about wearing gloves and this possibly slipping, yeah, that could be an issue for some people. Not a lot, because this definitely is easy to hold. Alright, so now let's go ahead and take this apart. Let's show you the springs here. Now the spring on this tail cap um, is identical to the one down on the head, but unfortunately I can't take the barrel off on this. And that's what that looks like on both springs. So it's pretty good quality there. Nice and thick. But it's got a flat straight contact point at the tip of that spring. So that's pretty interesting. Alright, so now let me bring out the battery I'm going to be using in this test. Alright, now battery I'm going to be bringing in here is the EcoGear FX, but this is a flat top version. Now they sent this to me to kind of promote, help them get some sales here for this particular battery type. They do sell button tops, which I've also featured in other videos. Here's the same amount. you got 3,000 milliamps here. They're closer to about 2,700 milliamps, maybe a little more, kind of give or take. Uh, these are an unprotected cell. Really a lot of amps coming out of here. So hopefully it'll help get this light its best performance it can for this video here. And now we're going to go ahead it all together and let's go through the UI. Now the UI is pretty straightforward. I want to make sure my clip is on there straight with the power switch. I'm going to go ahead and go over the UI. I'm going to activate the light of course with the tail switch. That's all this does. So if you want to use it like a tactical set it on the highest output then you can use that as a tactical feature there or momentarily blinding 1000 lumens. Okay, so now we're going to activate the light and as you see the green light comes on. We've got good battery power. You see the beam on here. We're going to go ahead and go through those light outputs. And they're very nice well spaced. They're not huge jumps from one to another or not enough in between. So they balanced it out really nice on this light. Then of course it goes back down. We'll go back through those light outputs again. And we're going to show you the beam here. Look at that. Really nice concentrated. Look at the spill on this. How sharp it is. And just immediately cuts right off. So that's going to show you some really nice details as you're walking or concentrating. You know, tracking an animal. Now there is, I don't know if I'm picking this up, but there is a slight little halo right at the outer edge here but it's not anything of concern look at that hot spot there really nice so let's have a little bit of bleeding around the edges here but not not a lot all right so now we're going to go back and now we're going to go through and go back down to the lowest output we're going to go we're going to press and hold that side switch to get strobe and that's a constant rate on that flash, so that's really distracting. And then, of course, if you press and hold, it will go back to the light output. Now, it does have SOS, so all you do is press and hold. Click it one time. Once you've selected strobe, and it now goes to SOS. So you've got to make that click right afterwards. If not, it'll go back to the lowest light output that you had it on, which is nice. It does have memory mode. So you're able to get both SOS and strobe. Now on the literature it looks like strobe was in some type of, of uh, different writing. So I think that's what that light output was. 
because the strobe was this here is only at 30 lumens the strobe was at the full light output of that thousand lumens then of course click at one time it'll go back to strobe you press and hold goes back to the last light output like mentioned before and you're back in business using the regular UI clicking that turning it off again we'll go over the highest output if you want to use it for a uh, tactical feature you can turn this off turning it back on so if you want to use it like a pressure switch you can just pressure that with your thumb and it doesn't take a lot so you can have that 1000 lumens ready to go more of a tactical feel to it all right so now let's go ahead and take a look at the smooth deep reflector there this is running the Cree XP-L high LED. I'm going to try to get the best angle I can get out without having my light above my head. There we go. And that looks really sharp. No dust underneath behind that lens, so that's really good quality control. All right. Well, let's wait no further. Let's take this outside, see how it does in the wilderness. We are out here in the darkness with the Magic Shine dedicated thrower for hunting. All right, we're going to activate the light. That there is 35 feet from where I'm standing easily making 65 feet there as you can see on the tree and this is more like a laser beam dedicated thrower so people wanting that extreme range there it is on the fence so as you can see tree of life it is making it to the tree of life as you can see on the base of it there as well as in the tree, even on this lowest light output. All right, we're going to go to the next level here on the Tree of Life. Let's see how it does. See the spots a little more prominent. That looks good. Even making that tree behind it. It's 238 feet to that tree behind the Tree of Life. There, easily making it across the park. Look at that. <laughs> Amazing. 65 feet to that tree now. See the tree line there, and then onto the fence. Looks really good. I'm going to go back over to the tree of life. Let's see how it does. There's the next level. Got a little bit of improvement in the spill as well. Easily making the school there, as you can see. Faintly making the palm trees. Almost there. Easily making it across the way now, as you can see. Impressive. There's the park. There's the other park right there. Incredible. All right. So now we're going to go over to the Tree of Life. Let's go to the next level. Look at that. Spill has really come alive. Making the palm trees now, as you can see. There. And the furthest one it is making. That's impressive. Look at that. You don't need a lot of lumens to throw it out like this. Incredible. really doing well. 
tree line, fence line, you can see. And this light is easy to carry, super light, making those trees in the background. Impressive. Again on the school, there it is on the palm trees, easily making those. Before and after here. Wow. All right. There's the highest level there. Look at that. Nice little jump. Not a huge jump. There it is on the palm trees again. Easily making those. Easily making those trees even in the distance there. Look at that. Very nice, look at the spill. Very usable. All right, look at that fence line, tree line, that's incredible. All right, hope you enjoyed those night shots. Oh, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed those night shots. Put the Landered on this Magic Shine MTL 60. Very impressive performance, especially for people wanting a dedicated thrower, but not something that's going to be super heavy. Even with the battery in here, it's a little heavier on the head, but that's to be expected. It is larger, but the light itself, you can carry this for hours. If you use a quality cell with this, it's going to provide a long range as well as good light output. 1000 lumens is actually quite impressive for a dedicated thrower. Um, some of the 2 and 3000 lumen dedicated thrower lights that I've worked with, um, you're getting that little bit of bump in range as far as throw, but having 800 meters of throw on a light that can fit in your hand, you can throw this in your pocket clip this onto your you know your belt or in your jacket uh, you've got a two-way clip on here you've got a lot of features to be able to carry this easily and I don't see any problem especially due to the weight of it and it's not a heavy light at all even with the battery in it really solid performance everything feels good the rubber uh, buttons here feel really nice firm they're not they don't feel thin and cheap so I've got to take my hats off to Magic Shine they're producing a quality light now these here are not that expensive as well so if you're needing something with good throw um, this is definitely something you may want to consider now I want to thank Magic Shine for sending me this light to review now if this is something you are interested and you want to get this MTL 60 I'll leave a link also with a discount code there and that will help you save some money on this should you be interested in getting it well that's it for me I hope you enjoyed this light if you did please share like and subscribe that way I can bring more of these magic shine products to you in the future thanks for watching take care